A new company called Vidon has released their first Vidon device. So let's take it for a spin in this review. Vidon Box, a video device review, sponsored by Vidon.me. So let's get it out of the way and check out the specs for Vidon. As you can see, it has a quad-core Cortex-A7 and a GPU-powered VRSGX and a 1GB RAM, which is DDR3, and a storage space of 8GB, and it's running Android 4.4. Now, the, gold, the aluminum gold with its oblong shape casing around the box, it sure is a device to look at and out, the, out of the norm from what you've seen from all the other devices. With their trademark logo right in the middle, simplicity is what they are after for this device. You can see the corners are rounded shaped and the eyeglass shape in front of which displays the light that the device is on. And the black and gold theme makes it pleasing to the eye. Now let's check out the ports for this device. Now you got the Wi-Fi antenna, a small reset button, optical audio, two USB 2.0, an HDMI port, and an Ethernet port, and of course, a power jack. As you can see, there is no SD card port, so you know they will do update everything via internet with their update app. Now let's check out the very stylish remote from the Vidon box. Your first take, you'll be thinking, oh, it looks like the Fire TV remote or the Minix remote. Well, it's the same type of feel to it as well, with that leathery grip feel. And once you hold it, and it's very thin, so it may be a little harder to hold for people that have big hands. It being so thin, that means the battery is thin as well. Now, it takes a watch battery, so you know the long it's going to be long-lasting, which is a big plus. While the button, button placement is accurate and easy to press, the circle shape inside between the D-pad felt a little deep when pressing the button, when all the other buttons felt great. I don't know if this will hurt the remote after a long period of use, because it being the main OK and Enter button, so please do keep that in mind. Once you boot the Vidon device, you'll get this Vidon word, and then comes along with a Vidon logo, and another word that shows up saying it's a Vidon box. The boot logo took about 20 to 30 seconds to boot and after the initial setup that I had. Now after booting it takes you to their home screen which is very simple but to the point. What you'll see is three tabs, your apps, your local files and settings. And everything is within the click away. Now I know what you're thinking, it doesn't look like an Android OS. Well this is what's great about the Vidon box. They have implemented their own UI and created their own firmware to enhance the experience with this device which separates them from other devices that I have reviewed. So let's dig deep into the settings first. You can do a factory reset by going to system info and by going to advance you can actually go to the official Android OS settings and as you can see it's running Android 4.4.2. Now, what's very intriguing of the Vidon is the ability to start the device and launch XBMC right away, which is a plus for XBMC users. Usually, you would have to download a different app for that, but Vidon have included it. Now, they have included a way to adjust the screen size and, amazingly, contrast and brightness, which is the very first for an Android box that I have seen. Now, you got your normal settings, which is output, audio, you would like to use, and then the very own update app which can be updated via internet rather than putting it on an SD card and doing all these extra steps to update your box. So this is a very good device. Let's jump into their Vidon XBMC app. I know you see two XBMCs on the on their device which I will explain later on the video. Now let's check out what version of XBMC they are running. Unfortunately it doesn't state it on here but it should be XBMC Gotham. From here you can watch you can catch what storage and hardware this XBMC is running on. Now with all this power, let's go ahead and test out the online streaming capability. Local files will always play top notch specs because it's running on your home network. So I like to test my device on online streaming. First, I will try the trailer add-on and test the 1080p video streaming. Unfortunately, I won't be able to play audio, so I do apologize. But first, let's check out the metadata. 
as you can see as I scroll it brings up the poster and fan art almost at the same time but when you scroll faster it does sort of lag a little but within a matter of seconds it comes up so let's go ahead and choose a trailer to play do keep in mind that I am on Wi-Fi internet and not Ethernet as many devices are not close enough to their router to plug in. As it loads up, it almost instantly plays the video and the vivid colors and audio is really clear. As you can see, it's 1080p with ACC audio. And now I'm going to try to skip ahead of the trailer to see how it buffers. Now I did it from the beginning and it plays fine, but when you skip ahead, forward well, it's about two to five seconds delay just trying to catch up and then it plays instantly instantly and audio is intact so it's a very good device with just one gigabyte ddr3 ram so let's go ahead and try another add-on called big bucks bunny by metal kettle um this add-on shows you to play the 1080p video 720p and 4k as well even 3d now let's go ahead and test out the 1080p surround sound which is full Dolby Digital uh, audio. Now I got hit with the buffering um, issue right now but that's because I had watched the video uh, earlier and it's skipping to the part where I press stop so this is actually a good test right now so right now it's giving a few maybe 20 seconds and then it just starts playing so as you can see it it's playing fine 1080p doubly digital 5.1 surround sound fortunately you can't hear the audio so I do apologize for that again now let's go ahead and as you can see it plays fine so let's go ahead and test out another video resolution which will be the 720p file now the 720p surround sound file and this is all online streaming again it'll most likely play instantly I'm really hoping so as you can see I got hit with the buffering probably not more than three to five seconds and it starts playing right away and audio is in sync and everything else so as you can see it's 720p doubly digital 5.1 Now let's go ahead and try a different uh, video format on this um, Vidon XBMC device let's go ahead and try 4k quad full HD and let's go ahead and test out the 30 frames per second first. So as you can see, I heard he pressed it and it plays instantly. But there is a little lag. Um, you might not be able to tell on this video, but in my TV, I could tell a few seconds lag into it. And the audio is there, but as you can see, it, it's lagging. But it's still impressive enough that it's actually playing 4K uh, video with 30 frames per second. Now let's get with the real test which is the 4k 60 frames per second again I don't have a 4k TV so the quality it might not be there so I apologize again so as you can see it played but it is a little laggy um, audio is really out of sync uh, if you could hear it but fortunately you can't but you can see that it does play 4k 60 frames per second but obviously either it's my internet or the, the device so it's kind of hard to tell so that's the XBMC so my final word on the Vidon box while the price for the device is really affordable which is insanely good for what you get I would think they would sell out right away now the device quality build is amazing and unique from any other devices on the market which stands out the user interface and optimized firmware to play 1080p and 4k video as well Vidon has made a very intriguing to what they can do in the future I would suggest this device for anyone that don't want to hurt their pocket and to start off on XBMC now let me explain why there's two XBMC version one is for standard and the other one is for pro upon buying the device you will get a card with your own number to validate the xbmc pro which you can get ota updates blu-ray menu navigation on the screen like if it was a blu-ray player and hd audio pass through while the standard xbmc is just your normal use with everything else included except for the pro version i know it's a little confusing but it it's their take to ensure quality on their device but most of us don't have local media files that are blu-ray 
So I would just use the standard one. Now for more information on Vidon Box, please visit vidon.me and follow them on social media. And don't forget to add XBM Connect to all, so, to all your social media. And thanks again for watching.